I'm going to show you the fastest way to farm every material in LEGO Fortnite. The most recent LEGO Fortnite update on June 22nd made a huge change that made farming so much faster. In the patch notes for the V30.20 update, under bug fixes, it says, Jump attacks now produce critical hits or double damage. This means we can farm materials faster and more efficiently with the addition of essences. In this guide, we will be using the damage, durability, and luck essences. But first, I want to go over how the luck essence works. For those that don't know, each luck essence that is applied to a tool or a weapon gives that tool or a weapon a 10% chance for that enemy or node to drop two times the loot. This can also be stacked up to three times so you can get a 30% chance to get double loot. Also, to make that more simple, if you do the math, that actually just converts to you getting 30% more materials on average. So you won't get double the loot every time you use it, but over the course of hundreds of times of using it, you will get 30% more material. The best part is you only need to get the last hit on the enemy or the node when it comes to the luck essence to get the benefits. This means you can use a triple damage crossbow to get a brute all the way down to basically no health, and then you can switch to the triple luck crossbow and finish him off so you have a 30% chance to get two scales. In this guide, I'm going to show you the most optimal essence combo combos to farm every basic and cave material in the game the fastest. So up first is granite and the best combination for this is a triple luck pickaxe and the reason is with the jump attack now you can break almost every granite node in one hit. However, if it's one of the bigger rock structures, you'll have to hit it twice, or what you can do is hit it once with the lightsaber first, and then do one jump attack with the pickaxe, and you're good to go. Next up is wood, and again, we're gonna be using a forest axe with a triple luck essence. So again, with the bonus damage from the double jump, almost all of the trees are now one hits with the axe. And then again, some of the bigger trees will take one hit from the lightsaber, and then switch to the axe and do a jump attack. So the goal here is to get the last hit on any node with a triple luck tool and because the luck only applies to the last hit we want to be using the luck tool the least amount possible this is important to understand because with flex wood we actually want one forest axe that has triple luck and then one forest axe that has triple damage so for flex wood what we're going to do is do one jump attack with the triple damage axe then we're going to switch to the triple luck axe and do another jump attack and this will finish it off so this way, it only takes three swings total, but the last one is with the luck tool, so you always get the 30% chance for double loot. So next up is marble, and the combination of tools we're going to be using here is a triple damage pickaxe and a triple luck pickaxe. For marble, it's just gonna be one hit with the triple damage and then one hit with the triple luck and you're good to go. Another really good combo for this is two damage and one luck because you can do one jump swing and it breaks it in just one hit. And since it has one luck essence applied, it's gonna have a 10% chance for double loot or you're just gonna get 10% more marble overall. If you wanna use a lightsaber, you can do three regular hits and then a jump swing with a triple luck and that'll break it as well. Then when it comes to not root, we're gonna use one forest axe that has triple luck and one forest axe that has triple damage. All we do here is one hit with the triple damage and then one hit with the triple luck and we break it in two hits and we get to finish with the triple luck. So for Rough Amber, there's actually a few really good combos, one of them being a triple luck axe that you just do two jump swings with. So one and two, and it's broken. The downside is the first hit is essentially pointless on the luck pickaxe, so it's a little bit of a waste of durability on your luck tool. An even better combo, though, is to take a pickaxe that has one damage and two durability. The reason is you can do a jump attack with this tool and then switch to the luck and then break it in just one more jump swing. So this combo is even better because you're breaking breaking the node in just two hits, but you're also saving the durability on the luck tool because you're only using it once per node. And you might be asking, why not do double damage or triple damage? Well, if you do double or triple, a jump attack is going to break it in one hit, and then you're not going to get the benefit of using your luck tool. So one damage essence is the perfect damage to get it down low enough to where it's one hit for a triple luck. And since you only need one damage to make this combo effective, you might as well fill the other two slots with durability 
ability just so you get more uses out of it. Another combo you could do is three hits with the lightsaber and then one jump swing with the triple luck. So this is a really good combo too because it only takes four total swings and three of them are from the lightsaber which has unlimited durability. Next we're going to go over desert cave materials and first up is bright core. So for this first combo for bright core we're going to be using one pickaxe that has two damage and one durability and then another pickaxe that has triple luck. First we're going to do one jump swing with the double damage and one durability and then switch to the triple luck to jump swing and finish it off. This is the most efficient combo but it's dangerous because bright core can sometimes be really high up and if you do a jump swing to attack it you're going to break the stairs of the foundation that you're standing on and possibly fall. So for bright core that's in high up places in that situation you're going to use this same combo of a double damage single durability and you're going to hit it twice just normal which is the same thing as doing a jump attack. Then we're gonna switch to the luck and just hit it once. So again, this will depend on whether the bright core is on the floor and easy to do a jump swing or whether it's on the ceiling and you have to not do jump swings. It's the same exact combo of essences, you're just doing a different type of swing and a different amount of swings. Then if you wanna use the lightsaber, it is one, two, three, four, five hits and then one jump swing. So if you're not able to use the jump swing, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six and then one regular hit with the luck pickaxe now one thing worth mentioning is that the lightsaber does not benefit from the jump attack double damage now ruby is actually the exact same as bright core we're going to be using one pickaxe that has two damage and one durability and one pickaxe that has triple luck we're going to do one jump swing with the double damage single durability and then one jump attack with the triple luck to finish it off and again, most Ruby is in a spot where you're going to be able to do a jump attack, no problem. But if it is up on the ceiling somewhere, just remember you can do two regular attacks with this combo and then finish it with one single luck attack. Then for the lightsaber, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five hits with the lightsaber and then one jump attack with the pickaxe. Obsidian is yet again the same because I believe they share health pools. So we're going to need a double damage and single durability pickaxe and then a triple luck pickaxe. So we're going to do one jump swing with the double damage, single durability ability and then one jump swing with the triple luck and again if you're in a spot where you can't do jump attacks it's just going to take two regular attacks with the double damage single durability and then one attack with the triple luck and then again for the lightsaber it's going to take five hits with the lightsaber and one jump swing with a triple luck now honestly for copper i don't ever really worry about finishing with a triple luck essence because there's just so much copper and you don't really end up needing a lot of it after your villagers start making copper bars for you so honestly with copper i found the best combo is just triple damage and then just breaking it in two jump swings and yeah you won't get as many materials if you're not finishing with a luck tool but honestly there's so much copper in the game I think finishing it in two hits and just being on with it is better but if you're really trying to save tool durability on this you can hit it eight or nine times with a lightsaber before you do a jump or a regular swing with a pickaxe so next up is the Frostlands materials and we're gonna start with malachite so for malachite we're gonna need one pickaxe with triple damage and one pickaxe with triple luck all this is going to take is one jump swing from the triple damage and then one jump swing from the triple luck and we break it in just two hits or if you want to use the lightsaber you can hit it seven times with the lightsaber and then do one jump swing with a triple luck pickaxe so when it comes to sapphire it's actually going to be exactly the same as malachite we're going to need a pickaxe with a triple damage essence and then a pickaxe with triple luck essence and then we're going to do the same thing just one jump swing with the triple damage and then one jump swing with the triple luck and we break it in just two hits and then again rough sapphire is going to be one of those materials where sometimes it's way up on the ceiling or the wall and it's just not going to be safe to do a jump swing so in this situation we're going to use a pickaxe that has two damage and one durability and another pickaxe that has triple luck with the double damage single durability pickaxe we're going to do three regular swings and then we're going to switch to the triple luck and hit it one more regular swing this makes it so we can break it in four hits but again it's safer and then if you want to use a lightsaber it's going to take either seven or eight swings depending depending on if you use a jump swing or a regular swing at the end when you use the pickaxe. So for iron, there's actually a handful of combos. It just depends on what you want to do. So the first combo uses a double damage and a single durability essence, and then the second pickaxe uses a triple luck. What we're going to do here is two jump swings with the double damage single durability, and then one jump swing with the triple luck. This is going to break it in three hits, and we get to finish with the luck essence. And then again, if you're in a spot where you can't do a jump swing, we're going to do four regular hits with the two damage single durability and then it's just two more hits with the luck pickaxe and honestly iron is just like
white copper where you don't need that much of it and there's a lot of it in the caves so honestly just doing a triple damage essence pickaxe and either doing four regular hits or you can do two jump swings and it breaks it in just two hits. Again, the downside here is you're not finishing with one of the luck tools, but this is kind of a situation where you would probably rather just farm faster. So last up is frost pine and we're gonna need a forest ax with a triple damage essence. So again, just like iron and copper, frost pine, there's so much of it and these trees actually regrow. So I'm not really worried about finishing with a triple luck. So what's better here is to use a triple damage essence and then you're able to do two jump swings and you can break any frost pine tree that's all the materials and then when it comes to creatures i didn't go and calculate the exact amount of hits it takes to take down every single creature in the game but basically what it comes down to is taking a triple damage essence weapon getting that animal or creature low to where it's just about one hit and then you switch to the luck essence tool and then you finish it off but hopefully that was helpful and like i said if you actually use these tips and at least if you're always finishing with a luck essence tool you are going to be getting 30 percent more resources overall so if that was helpful be sure to subscribe for even more lego fortnite content and tips and if you're not already supporting a fortnite creator in the item shop be sure to use code epic bricks